Alright, so today we're going to be starting the introduction to the Lama Tet Melachot, the 39 Melachot that are forbidden on Shabbat. And first of all, before, before we begin, I'd like to thank my Rabbi Arav Halam Avam Galan from Yeshivat Sion to give me the opportunity to do this. And Bezat Hashem, this should be a big success. Amen. So, first off, the Mishnah tells us, Masechet Shabbat, Daf Ein, Ein Gimel Muralf, says the following, Avot Melachot Abraham Chaser Achat. It says that, how many Melachot are there on Shabbat? 40 minus 1. That doesn't give us the number 39, that would seem more appropriate. Doesn't tell us 38 plus 1, it tells us 40, 40 minus 1, it goes the other direction. So, question is, if we count from all of them, we see that there are 39. Why does it have to tell us in such a simple, some, some, such a strange language where we can simply say 39? Now, it goes through the list of the 39 Melachot, one by one, and the question becomes how do we even know there's 39? Where does this idea even come from? Why 39 Dafka? So, before we get to that, there's a passage that says in the beginning of Sef, uh, Sefer, um, it's, I'm sorry, it says in Parsha Vayakel, towards the end of Sefer Shemot, and it says the following, Vayakel Moshe et kol adab b'nei Yisrael, that Moshe gathered the entire congregation of b'nei Yisrael, Vayom alahem el advarim, he told them, these are the things, el advarim, these are the things, that Hashem tziva Adonai l'asod otam, that Hashem has commanded for them to perform. And then finally, right after, was it says, Sheshi Yamim Tasem Melacha, that for six days you will perform Melacha, creative work. Uvayom Shimi, and on the seventh day, Tishbot, on the seventh day you're going to rest from them. Look, all the creative work that could be done during the six days is not allowed to be performed. So, if a person were to look at the language, and when it says, El Hadvarim, these are the things that's going to be performed, the Gemara picks up on that. And it says it's from that phrase, El Hadvarim, that they learn that there's 39 Melachot. How is that understood? So the Gemara says the following. The Gemara says in Daf Ayin Amralaf, Sheshi Yamim Ta'asem Melacha, Devarim, Hadvarim, El Hadvarim, Elu Shel Shim V'Tesha. What does that mean? The Gemara of the word Ele, of the term El Hadvarim, Aleph, Lam, and Hey. Anyone can tell me the Gemara of that? 32. 36. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that would be Ella, that would be Ella with, a, without a, without a, with an Aleph instead of a Hey. Mm -hmm. However, Ella with a Hey, Aleph, Lamed, Hey is 36. Aleph is 1, Lamed is 30, and Hey is 30, is uh, 5, so it's 36. Now, what's so funny? It's not funny at all. It's, it's a simple gematria. So now, we have Ella and now Dvarim. What does Dvarim mean in, in, in uh, Hebrew? Things. Things, right? So if you have 36 and a number more things, what's the, what's the minimum amount of things that you can have? Two. Two. Uh, so 36 plus two is eight. 38. Now we're short of one. How do we get the last one? How? So it says, Ella Hadvarim. These are the things. So Hadvarim is the, is the final one that's counted, and therefore we get a total of 39. So clearly we find that... We, the idea of 39 melachot is found in the psukim, it's an idea that's, that's presented. And what's interesting about this is that not everybody accepts this, this uh, drush. Remember last week we were talking about when we were discussing the melacha of trapping. We spoke about the idea that the Yerushalmi, there's one opinion that says that trapping is not a melacha at all. So according to that opinion, there would be 38 melachot, not 39. So this whole drush apparently would go out the window. So they would say it's a very nice... Very nice thought that you're presenting, but it's not accepted by all opinions. Just to throw that out there. So now, that's the first source, to say that there's 39 melachot. However, there's a second source as well. It's found early on in the Gemara, and it says the following. It says, the following. Can I get me? So, the question is brought, when the Mishnah says there are 39 melachot, what does it correspond to? Apparently, the drush that it brings down regarding El Hadvarim is not sufficient. So, it wants to find maybe there's another source in the Torah there where it says this. So, according to one opinion, it says, Amal Hu Rabbi Hanina Bar Chama Kineged Avodat Hamishkan. Rabbi Hanina Bar Chama says that it corresponds to the 39 types of labor that's found in the Mishkan, which, of course, that's where we learn all the types of prohibited labor. 
and brings another opinion. It says, Amal Hu Rabbi Yonah Natan, Rabbi Eliezer, Bach Amar Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Lukunya, and it brings a, another time where it says, Keneged Melacha Melachto Melechet Shabbat Torah. So it says the words Melacha, Melechet, and Melachto 40 times in the Torah. 40 times in the Torah. So now it says that based on this, we understand that there, that there are 39 Melachot. So that's a problem. If it says 40 times, why 39 should be, it should be 40? So it's, the Gemara basically goes into a discussion and says that one of the times in which it mentions this idea, it's not supposed to be learned out. It's not supposed to be learned out as Malacha, but it's, it comes to teach us something completely different. And it has two options, which one they are. The first option, it says that maybe it's referring to the Pasuk regarding Yosef at Sadiq when he was in Potiphar's house. The Pasuk says over there, by Yavoha, by the, the Yosef, when he was a servant in Potiphar's house, Potiphar was away that day, he was at some Egyptian festival, and only Potiphar's wife was home because she feigned to be sick. Mm. So what happens, it says, So Yosef goes at the, to the home, in order to do his work, or the, the work itself. The question is, what work is it referring to? So according to one opinion of the Gemara, it's referring to actual work, right? So main creative work. According to another opinion of the Gemara, the work that's referring to is him having relations with Mrs. Potiphar. Okay, so therefore, according to one opinion, that term of Malacha would not be part of the general account. According to another opinion, however, it brings another passage where it says, where they brought all of the materials for the Mishkan. Finally, there was so much that it says, there was sufficient amount of work to be provided. So the Gemara says that maybe it's not referring to the actual physical labor, but maybe it's referring to the raw materials that were used. So this is Machok, but clearly according to both opinions, one of them is supposed to be dropped. And for this reason, the Maharsha says, Maharsha points out to this Gemara, that that's why Dafka it says is 40 minus 1 Malachot, it doesn't say 39. Why? Because this is 40 times the Torah, it says Malacha, and only one of them is dropped, that's why it says Dafka 40 minus 1. So that's the source for the 39 Malachot, and Bezat Hashem, we will begin discuss discussing Exactly. What exactly is the difference between Av Malacha, Toladai, and the various distinctions between the two of them? Both not allowed. Then we have the Zakbaruch.